frustrated, but at the same time, I'm hopeful that that um, within the next month, maybe they could get things in place. Pinellas County's new COVID vaccine registration system went live today. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you so much for joining us. Within an hour, all the appointments for residents 65 and older were booked. Pinellas Bureau reporter Christine McCarty joins us now live with the very latest. Hey, Christine. Hey, we spoke with someone who got one of those appointments today. They said they signed up. It was easy, took 15 minutes, and they're coming here next week for their vaccination. But it wasn't that easy for everyone. I keep about five websites open on my computer daily. Maria Ehrlich refreshes those websites 20 times a day in hopes of getting her 91-year-old mom, Joe, the COVID vaccine. Friday morning, the State Department of Health announced they're partnering with the county fire paramedics to distribute vaccines next week in Largo, St. Pete, Palm Harbor, and Pinellas Park. We are very pleased to be able to announce the uh, expansion of these, you know, these additional sites. 10,000 appointments were released on the new CDR McGuire patient portal at 10 a.m. Friday. I was super excited, of course, like everybody. But quickly that. disappointed. By 11 a.m., when Ehrlich signed on, all 10,000 appointments were gone. Joe has COPD but still lives independently. Her daughter wants the Department of Health to help. To reach those 65 and older that don't have computers, that don't have transportation, and that still live in an apartment or a home. Um, and don't have access to the vaccine. So, aid on your side asked Dr. Yuli Cho, the Florida Department of Health Director in Pinellas County. Is there going to be any kind of program set up to get vaccines to people 65 and older that can't leave their homes? Well, well we're, uh, we're looking at various uh, um, opportunities, exploring those things. While that's in the works, the Department of Health says anyone who wants a vaccine can pre-register on the patient portal and they'll send alerts as appointments open. In the meantime, they say mask up and spread out. I'm frustrated but helpful. Now, the four locations where vaccinations start Tuesday have not been released because you cannot show up without an appointment. We only know that this is one of them from someone who was able to sign up and get an appointment here. Now, as for the dry runs that will be happening, we're told that there will be dry runs at all four locations this weekend on Saturday in hopes of everything running smoothly when they start on Tuesday. Reporting live in Largo, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.